Okay, Ashley, thank you. As coronavirus cases continue to surge across the country, we will hear from Governor John Bell Edwards today about Louisiana's ongoing fight against the virus. NBC Local 33's Courtney Williams live for us this morning at the state capitol. She's got details on today's briefing and what changes we're already seeing in our area due to those rising case numbers. Courtney, good morning. Morning to you guys. Well, it definitely feels like deja vu when looking at these COVID-19 numbers, and it's looking very familiar to what we saw at the beginning of the pandemic. So over the last several days, we've seen those COVID numbers rising in the thousands, uh, which has now caused some things to go back to the way they were back in March. So taking a look at that, they, so bars have closed in Livingston, West Baton Rouge, and Ascension parishes. Um, that that's because of a high positivity rate of more than 10% for the past two weeks. And looking in East Baton Rouge Parish School System, Park Elementary had to move back to virtual learning, and that was after multiple COVID cases were confirmed on campus. But officials say that they will resume in person learning on November 30th, which is right after the Thanksgiving holiday. And Our Lady of the Lake has also changed its visitation policy once again by stating patients who test negative for COVID 19 will be allowed one adult visitor. And this also applies in the emergency room. Patients at the Children's Hospital will be allowed to have both parents present and there are exceptions to visitor rules like end of life care and all visitation and visitors will have to go through that screening process. So again, those are just some of the changes that we've seen um, over the last week, week and a half, but we just don't know if there will be any more changes over the next couple of weeks, but Governor John Paul Edwards will be giving that media briefing this afternoon at 2.30, so we will bring that to you live and also any updates, we'll be sure to check that out on our free Be Our Proud app, or you can go to our website, which is BeOurProud.com. Reporting live at the State Capitol, Courtney Williams, NBC Local 33 News.